So you want to stop smoking, eat healthier, or maybe get over a bad relationship. And your friends tell you to simply stop thinking about it so much. But every time you try to stop thinking about it, it pops right back into your head. So why is it so hard to suppress unwanted thoughts? And what can we do to clear our heads? Well, the good news is that you're not crazy. It's universal. Research has found that the more you try to push a thought out of your head, the more likely that thought is to pop right back up. This is called ironic rebound. Ironic rebound is causing the opposite effect of what you actually meant to do. And it explains why sometimes you just can't get that song out of your head, why people with stage fright can't stop imagining everything going wrong when they get on stage, and even why dieters can't stop thinking about their favorite foods. The problem is that when you try to push a thought out of your head, in order to fulfill that task, your brain has to split it up into two different pieces. Let's take the example that you're trying desperately to not think of a white bear. Well, the first part of this is that your conscious brain is going to be trying to distract you by focusing on something else. The second part of that is your subconscious, which is trying to make sure that you don't fall back into thinking about a white bear. As you try to push your attention away, your brain is forced to keep referencing white bears to make sure that you're still not thinking about white bears, which makes you think about white bears. But trying to suppress one of your thoughts doesn't just change what you're thinking, it actually changes your behavior. Multiple studies have shown that when you try to suppress a certain thought, that thought actually becomes stronger. If you take dieters and tell them to not think about attempting food, their ability to withstand that food actually goes down. And the same thing can be seen with smokers. Smokers that are specifically told to not think about smoking a cigarette ended up smoking more cigarettes than other groups by the end of the study. Over and over again, the people that had to suppress their thought ended up with the least amount of willpower. So how can we take a little bit more control over our thoughts? Well, the researcher Wegner found several strategies that were particularly effective. First, find something to distract you. Putting your focus on something else helped limit the time you would spend thinking an unwanted thought. Second, you can postpone the thought. Research shows that you can set aside time to think about your unwanted thoughts so you can free up time now simply by promising yourself to worry later. Another strategy is to meditate. Meditation has been shown to help people gain more control over their thoughts. And finally, the strategy that was found to be the most effective was giving up. When you stop trying to control your thoughts, you break this cycle of ironic rebound. Since you're not pushing against the idea, the idea is no longer pushing against you. So how has this process played out in your life? What is your white bear? Let the group know in the comments section below.